Nowadays, there's a wide range of offer on baits market. The anglers have difficult tasks to do since there is huge oversupply. Our venue is at the test lake of Tsuk, where we are examining the effectivity of one of the new products called Bombastic, made by the oldest bait manufacturer in Hungary. They intended to develop a kind of bait that does not select among the fish, so it is capable to attract to the hook all the peaceful fishes living in the water of our country. Tsuk has years of experience and more than 200 products of the company are used by anglers here and abroad. In the next couple of minutes we are going to compare this new bait to other commercially available products. The selection happened randomly. One of the two baits is of foreign origin, while the other one comes from the Hungarian manufacturer. Tsuk owns a test lake in which there is an underwater panorama built up perfectly capable to observe the fishes. From there, it can be seen how the fishes react to different baits. Our experiment happens as follows. We are going to compare Bombastic, the new product of Tsuk, to a bait chosen randomly. Both material, having kneaded together with water, has gotten into a wire gabion designed for feeding. Bombastic has been pulled down in front of window number one. and the other bait in front of window number 3. Then we are going to wait curiously what happens. It is important to know about the test lake of Tsuk, that almost all kinds of peaceful fishes living in the water of our country can be found in it, moreover in different size. Let's not forget that the test is aimed to prove that Bombastic challenges more fishes in both number and races than other baits and its flavor even keeps them there. Behind window number one, soon after having pulled down the bait, the life has puzzled. More and more fishes have swum to the bait and eaten Bombastic. But let's look at what happened at window number 3. Visitors have arrived for the unknown bait as well, but much less than for window number 1. However, the situation can change since we are at the beginning of the test. Let's get back to window number 1. Obviously, the number of fishes crowded for the bait has arisen. The common rods have devoured the material in feeding gabion. And we are speaking about almost record size common rods. It bodes well for the anglers, since this bait may attract the biggest common rods either. Not only common rods have represented the bream family, soon have come up the beautiful Vimba breams as well. They also cannot be considered as the smallest one of their race and have bolted down the bait. Tench is regarded as one of the nicest fishes in our country. Unfortunately, it is only rarely tied up, but Bombastic may bring breakthrough in catching it, since either the race called as the doctor of the fishes could not stand out the delicious meal. It is time to look at window number 3 again. Some positive impact can be discovered, since there are more fishes eating the bay than before, but it seems that Tsuk has found some magic, because the difference between the crowds behind the two windows speaks well for Bombastic. Let's continue our observation at window number 1. While we were staying at window number 3, more species have come up. Bombastic does not sort out among fishes and it is proved by the fact that it has appealed a kind of fish, namely mullet, 
which mainly lives in rivers, but those ones settled in the Tsuk Lake also have found a feeding point. Among breams, the angler's favorite is carp bream. It is good news that more and more carp breams have found a feeding. It is important to know that after the bait got into the water, the number of fishes has gone up immediately and the waves caused by their rare fins have spread the bait further, so normally more and more fishes may turn up. Many fishes attract even more ones for the feeding. At window number 3, things are also happening, but there is not much bustle. Since there are less fishes, bait has not been spread on the bottom of the water to attract more species at the venue. Once the bait has been eaten up at window number 1, we have tested bombastic at another window, namely number 2. The process was the same as at window number 1. Soon have come up breams and slowly the other species as well. The sturgeon's appetite is unappeasable, so it would have been surprising if they had been unattended. Huge hedonism started here too. The fishes have insatiable appetite. As of bombastic, soon have come even bigger fishes for it. The presence of grass carps provides us with the beautiful scenery. The grass carps are regarded as very cautious fishes. However, their cautiousness has been conquered by bombastic. A bait of high quality and the feeding itself have lured the big common carps within a short period of time as well. We already saw smaller ones before, but the older and more experienced pieces are always needed to be waiting for. But this bait has overpowered even the hugest common carps. Due to its components, bombastic still affects when we almost think the fishes have already eaten up everything. Look at this silver carp, imbibing the small, almost invisible grains in the water as elegantly as a whale shark. Certainly, the manufacturer, Tsuk, has already compared bombastic to other baits and they have gained similar experiences. Producing this ground bait of such a high effect does not happen from day to day. After a long period of testing, they have managed to develop a perfect ground bait which I think will significantly improve the angler's catching performance.